Good morning. Hey, you. Welcome to the House of Shaw. I am Jenta, your host. I just want to pray with you really quickly. Um, I was thinking about school start, soon to start for my family and I. We're a homeschooling family for two of our younger uh, children, and our oldest actually attends school. She's eight grader. I want to pray with you and just encourage you that no matter what your schooling situation is, if you're parents, parenting for the second time, parents of multiples, right? If you have adopted children, foster children, we all need prayer. God knows we need prayer. We want to pray for those in um, relationship with us who are helping instruct our children. So school teachers, um, youth leaders, mentors, sport coaches, you know, dance coach, music coach, whomever. Uh, the Lord has placed around them. We want to pray for them. I want to pray for you specifically, mom, that the Lord, our God will lead and guide you and that you would not walk in the trepidation, that you would not be tired or deceived, that you would not be overwhelmed or busy, that you would know the difference between the things you should do and the things you could do, that God would uh, allow you to notice all time thieves and that you will be aware of, of your children, your family, and that you would do what he's called you to do well. It is in you to do. Right. So we're committing wholeheartedly to the work that God has given us in the servicehood of motherhood. Right. In Jesus name. I just thank you, Father God, for my sisters. I thank you, Father God, for the grandparents who are parenting a second time with a married or single God. We need you, Jesus. We need you. We cannot do this thing without you. In fact, we don't even want to try. At times we admit, Father, that we have gotten off track and tried to do things in our own will, our own might. We confess that before you, God, and we repent. Right now, God, we come humbly before you and we ask that you would um, help us to surrender our wills, that we would not be distracted or deceived or not pass on things that have been done to us that we didn't like or enjoy, systems that were in place that did not work were not well, but that you would help us to see our children as you see them, God, as precious gifts given and trusted to us for a short while. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help us to see them as individuals. Hallelujah. And that we would nurture the gifts and talents that you've given them. Help us to be patient, to speak kindly. Help us to be that exemplary role model, God to pray without ceasing before them, allow them to catch us doing the right thing. And even in fact, God help us to do the same to them, to encourage them when they're doing the right thing, things, when they're on the right track, when they, hallelujah, have made the right choices, when they've sacrificed maybe friendship or friend times with friends to do what is necessary, whether that's in a disciplinary of their schoolwork, God, and their, their chores as they serve us, their families, God, if it's just in the things that they have passionate desires and curiosity about, whether it's science or reading or math, for writing, oh God, even if it's anything that has to do with technology and producing works that will bless the next generation. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help us to nurture them. Hallelujah. To encourage them, to put safe people around them. I thank you, Father God, right now. Lift up that mother who feels exhausted, tired, and uh, overworked, underpaid, and uh, none of her tactics or none of her uh, things ever seen or noticed or just taken for granted because that's mom and that's what mom does. I pray that you would lift up her arms, that you would allow your angels to encamp around about her and sing over her according to Zephaniah 317. I pray against the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of discouragement, the spirit of fear, the spirit of loneliness. I pray against stress and anxiety and worry. And I ask you, Father God, that you will fortify your head to protection around about her. Give her, Father God, the outlet she may need in prayer and in worship. I pray, Father God, that you would put safe people around her. Hallelujah. Mothers and fathers Others that are um, wiser and smarter who have been this way before to encourage and to nurture her. In fact, God, I pray for her community, community that you would bless her, oh God, that she, hallelujah, would be surrounded by people who um, not only that she can encourage, but they can encourage each other. Your word says that iron sharpens iron. So right now we pray, Father God, over this mother. We pray over her mourning. We pray over the work of her hands, whether she's a homeschooling mom, hallelujah, a stay-at-home mom, or a mom that, bat um, that balances both. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you, hallelujah, will bless the works of her hands. Help her to acknowledge you in all her ways and to lean not to her own understanding. Help her, Father God, to acknowledge you, hallelujah, in the moments when she needs you most. We pray against the spirit of stuffing and silence. I pray, God, that you would allow her to open up her mouth in prayer. I pray, Father, that you would allow her to open up her mouth, hallelujah, in worship. I pray, God, that you would allow her to open up her mouth in praise. I ask you, Father, to put fire on her tongue that she would command the enemy to bow to the authority that you have given her. Your word declares that we are in you and you are in us. You abide in us. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives within us and resides within us. So we stand in our authority. Hallelujah. And you said that you have given us keys to bind and to loose, to bind and to loose, to bind and to loose, to bind those things here on earth that should not be. If they're bound in heaven, they should be bound on earth. And if they're loosed in heaven, the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. 
and the gifts of the spirit, we lose them here on earth in our children, over ourselves, over our families, over our work environments, over our church ministries, God, over every atmosphere we find ourselves in. I thank you for allowing us to walk in the authority you've given us, oh God. I thank you for opening up her eyes that she may see. The enemy wishes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. And he uses tactics such as deception, division, hallelujah, and distractions. I thank you, God, that we would not be deceived. We would not be divided amongst ourselves within our families, our church ministries, and our communities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we will stand in truth and wisdom. Hallelujah. And that we would allow you to guide our steps and order us. We pray against every distraction that wishes to come, God, whatever it may be. I thank you for exposing all time thieves. And I thank you, Father God, for giving us angels, angels. Your word declares that you give us angels to make our way prosperous. So I thank you, Father God, for making her way prosperous on this morning. I thank you for helping her to do the things necessary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To care for herself in the name of Jesus, that she may care for others with love, doing all that she do on to you, God, and not unto man. I pray, Father God, that if it's for her to do something as simple as to take a bath instead of a shower, if it's for her to do her nails or her hair to get her eyebrows waxed, oh God, the simple things that help us feel, hallelujah, loved and appreciated and to see our reflections and to be proud of what we see. If it's exercising, God, give her a routine. Thank you for helping us to build healthy habits. Hallelujah. Habits that will become mindless uh, after a while that we will have more mental space to do other things, Father other tasks, but we would do them and do them well. I thank you for helping us, Father God, to be great in all that you've called us to be. In fact, I activate the greatness within you, sis. The greatness, hallelujah, to not just be a mom or or a wife, because those are great honors, but to be all God has called you to be, to balance those things, to know the difference between the things you should do and the things you could do. I thank you, Father God, that as we reach for you, Father, that you are responding to us. I bless you, God, that we know who we are and whose we are. We're daughters of the Most High God, hallelujah, and the brides of Christ. In the name of Jesus, and so all that we need, we have access to through your spirit, through your word, hallelujah, and that that we do not have that you will supply it. Our word declares, your word declares to us, which is our word. We take hold of the promises of God, hallelujah, that our father on the cattle on a thousand hills. And if I need it, you know, before I even ask, that you can answer, hallelujah, because you hear us when we pray each time we pray. So I thank you for activating the greatness within us. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So I I thank you for activating that greatness in her, oh God. I thank you that right now there's no time or space in the spirit and regardless of the time she's watching this, that these prayers are forever programmed in heaven and they are applicable for now. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that as she moves forward in the things of God, that you are allowing your angels to go before her and to make her way prosperous. I thank you, Father God, that you're blessing the works of her hand as she's aligning them with your will. I thank you, Father God, that every person that that does not mean her any good, hallelujah, comes to deceive again, to distract, to bring the vision, that you would expose the plot and the plan of the enemy, hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, and that you would allow her in the name of Jesus to see the enemy for who he is and not the person that should be able to install healthy boundaries. That's right. You have not called us to live behind walls. Hallelujah. But to implement boundaries, to create and implement boundaries under your wisdom and the whole, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So I just thank you, Father God, right now for blessing her. I thank you for allowing her to know that she is loved far beyond anything that she could do. As I said before, that these are servanthoods, the roles we, we feel. Hallelujah. Yes. With great honor. Hallelujah. And with humility. But at the end of the day, since you are a daughter of God before you're anything else, you are the bride of Christ. And so I want you to know that it's in you to do if it's according to his will and his purpose. You will not stagger in his promises, but you will stand boldly. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Boldly. He said, I make your feet sure like hinds feet that you may tread upon your high places. Hallelujah. So if now is a season of high places, I want you to know that he's made a way for you. And if it's your season of enjoying goodness and peace and joy and abundance in every area, then embrace it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that whatever season we may find ourselves in, that we would trust you with our whole hearts, that we are not predicating our relationship with you, our love for you, our worship for you on trinkets. Things, hallelujah, circumstances are happenings, Father, but that there is steadfast sureness of our faith. Hallelujah. The fact that you live, died and rose again is more than enough for us to believe you and trust you and take you at your word. I thank you, Father God, for the illumination of your word in this season, that as she prays for herself, her family, those she cares for and serves, that you will give her the words of wisdom, words of knowledge, revelation, that you would allow her to open up her mouth and to prophesy, to call those things that be not as though they were, that she will use her mouth to build her house. Hallelujah. As a wise woman. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I bless you for it now. I pray, Father God, for each and every woman 
woman out there, hallelujah, who is married, that you would allow her husband to see you, hallelujah, that you would allow her husband to see her as God sees her. I pray, Father God, that he will be fortified in his flesh, hallelujah, and all things that concern him, hallelujah, that you will perfect. I pray against addictions. I pray against uh, distractions in his life. I pray against limitations and things that he may find crippling to him. And I ask you, Father, to fortify him as a man. Hallelujah. And if he's a man of God and he's committed his heart and mind to you, that you would rejuvenate him. Hallelujah. Breathe a fresh breath of, of, of air into his lungs, God. Cause his countenance to be one that is pleasing to you and beneficial to his family. And I pray, Father God, that hallelujah, if he has not yet surrendered his heart and his mind to you, that you will cause him to come forth as a man of God. Hallelujah. That he will see you through her. Hallelujah. That she will no longer have to be that she wouldn't feel the pressure to save his soul, but that she would love you and walk honorably before you and that that man will see you in her and that he will be drawn to you, that he may honor you and submit his life to you wholeheartedly and lead his family in truth. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, if she's a single woman, hallelujah, if she's single, hallelujah, in the sense that she has no physical male covering, that you will be her covering, oh God. Your word declares that you are you are married, hallelujah, to each of us, that we're made perfect in the union of you. Ayare sotaya. I thank you for that truth. And I pray, Father God, that you would fortify the hedge of protection round about her. Hallelujah. And that you would put safe people in her community as for all of us, Father, that will support, encourage, and look after, hold accountable as well as, hallelujah, stand beside as the seasons of life may change. I thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against any of us shall prosper. I pray, Father God, for the fortifying of the hedge of protection round about us. I thank you for helping us to have wisdom, to have clarity, to be determined, to stay focused. And I thank you, Father God, for blessing us with our children. Your word declares that they're like arrows in the hand of a skilled warrior. Hey, as we put them before you, present them before you, understanding that they're only ours for a short while to steward, that you will lead us and guide us as to how to use and direct those arrows, that as we release them, hallelujah, that they'll be doing the purpose of God, fulfilling the will of God before time began, that you preordained according to Psalms 139. I pray blessings over each home, God, that may witness this video, may find this prayer encouraging or powerful. I pray that you will continue to breathe upon them fresh air on all of us, God. I need your help. I thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, for activating the greatness within us and causing us to stand sure-footed in the things of God. It's in you to do, sis. Why? Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And if he called you to it, he'll bring you through it. Not to just merely survive it, but to learn, to grow, to evolve. Hallelujah. To be all the better for it. In Jesus' name, I believe this for you. And I pray blessings over you and your family. Until next time, be blessed. Amen.